I'm about to go to my first appointment by myself. It is two horses for vaccines. It shouldn't be anything big, but I mean, it's exciting because so far I've been with somebody every single time and now it's just gonna be me. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So I'm back home now editing this video. I wasn't able to take any video at the appointment, which is kind of sucky. The client was kind of in a rush. It went really well. His horses needed their vaccines. He just bought them. They didn't really have a vaccine history. And then after that, we were going to go to the office, but as you can see, I live on a farm and one of the mature cattle was found dead that morning. The reason I'm doing this is there's no real transition between what I did that day. Um, I'll get better as I go on, but for now, this is the explanation of what's about to happen. So, sorry, back to the video. So we were just about to head to the office and we have a dead cow that was found this morning here on the farm. So we are going to cut her up and see uh, what might have been going on. I'm extra excited to do this one because when I was on externship with Cody Creelman, he gave me this sweet post-mortem knife and this is the first time I'm ever going to use it. So I'm pretty pumped. done with the necropsy. Right now our tentative diagnosis is anaplasmosis. Everything else looked pretty normal so we took a small sample of spleen to get uh, an impression smear and see if we can make a full diagnosis but for now that's what we got. <laughs> oh look lunch is coming. I forgot my lunch so Mary's bringing it to me. She's so sweet. on the inside edge of this tooth. And then on the other side, you can see that the points are, I mean, you can see it's rubbing right up against her tongue. So it's the same on the outside of the upper teeth. So what we're gonna do is use this power float to get in there and this spins around. And we're gonna grind them down and see what they look like afterwards. I'm not sure how much. So you can see on this bottom that the inner edge of the tooth is now lower than the outer. It's not gonna be rubbing on the tongue anymore. And then it's gonna be the same on the outside edge of the upper teeth. You can see that those points are a little bit more smooth on each side. And then those big points that were in the front are also gone. We are all done at the office. We had three different We had three different people bring uh, a few horses in uh, for basically just starting them on a good vaccine program. We had a couple of dentistries that had to be done, as you just saw. Okay. One of them was super duper rewarding. And now we are leaving the office, the pretty office, and um, eating lunch. Are you gonna eat lunch? I have nothing. You want some of my salad? 
smells great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want your salad. It's I pretty, want some meat. It's, it's pretty good. It's got some chicken on there. <laughs> uh, now we're headed to see a horse that has a laceration on its face. And after that, I think that's it for now. But watch, we're gonna get something else. So it's gonna Jeez. just uh that the horse couldn't breathe and she just wanted a bigger nose hole so she hooked it on something and then tore it up. Turns out it's the same nose hole that I had to stitch up four years ago. <laughs> oh yeah we were looking in the history and the same exact horse did the same exact thing in the same exact spot four years ago. Pretty much. So we did the same exact thing. Yep. That she did. And gave the owner a three and a half year warranty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to pay for the four year warranty. No, no, that would have that would have cost more. So he paid for the three and a half year warranty. So when four years comes, he'll have to pay for it again. <laughs> Procedure all over again. <laughs> but we'll follow up with them and see how that's coming together because it's always nice to see. That's right. And for now, let's see what time it is. It's 8.08 and the day is officially over. For him. For me, because I'm going on vacation for two days. And we'll be back on Monday. I'm on call. Poor Dr. Long's on call weekend. But it's okay, because <laughs> that's going to be me next weekend. First weekend on call. That'll be a great video. Hopefully, it will be boring and videos of me sitting at home doing that. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see everything. Yeah, that's the day.